Greetings, guide wishing gurus and greenhorns. I'm Scott Laprade, technical supervisor here at GenSwiss. I'm Bill Fletcher, Northeast Regional Sales Manager with GenSwiss. So thank you for joining us today in our brand new uh, tooling studio. We're uh, putting we're going to be putting together some really nice videos in here. I think this is really cool. Right? Um, yeah, so it's a little bit better sound, a little bit better video quality, and also give you guys the ability to see the product that we're going to be uh, displaying and demoing here. So uh, I think the first one we're going to start off with is uh, is our Cut 1600 series from Utilities. Um, Utilities is a major partner of Gen Swiss. They do all the carbide and holders and turning line, um, custom inserts and that sort of thing. They have a major Swiss turning line that they call their Cut series, which is divided into two different series, the 3000 series and the 1600 series. Today we're going to focus on the 1600 series, which is a uh, product meant specifically for very small work. Um, so about 10 mil, uh, starting point is about approximately 10 millimeters and under 10 millimeters for 1600. Yes, yeah, so that's so the working area there is when you're working on work pieces that uh, start out around 10 millimeters or so and then go down to, you know, as small as you might want to go. Some of the real micro stuff, things that might be in the 40 to 20 thousandths major diameter range or even smaller than that. These tools have the capability of machining parts that small. Right. But they also have a very similar pocket design to the uh, 3000 series but on a smaller scale. Yes, yep. So these are all uh, basically your, your, your standard Swiss turning tools, but very, very miniaturized. So things like sharp edge conditions, zero nose radius or small nose radius, uh, all come standard on this. Uh, so this is where you're gonna be working down in the, in the small end. Um, so we'll just kind of run through what we've got on the, on the counter here in front of us. We'll go through some of the holders and, and the different styles and why you might apply one over another. Um, Starting with the, the first one here, this is just your basic square shank tool holder. And as you can see, it's a true Swiss style holder uh, where the cutting edge is flush with the mounting surface of the shank. So there's no offsets or anything. It's getting you right up on the guide bushing uh, for maximum rigidity. When you're working on the parts that these are aimed towards, you're going to want to be as close to the guide bushing as possible. So this is uh, your standard basic uh, go to square shank tool holder. Sure. It looks like the uh, seat for that is rather significant, providing the insert with a lot of uh, stability, as well as there's a very interesting configuration back here that looks like it provides uh, protection for the insert. Yep. But the nice thing about these two is if, uh, you know, anything occurs, God forbid, you know, you lose an edge, something breaks off, you're not going to take out the holder with it. Ah. Uh, so the way that the that recesses into that pocket, you're going to be able to index it around and utilize the other edge, um, or in the very least, not have to worry about the holder getting taken out. That's really important because we all know that inserts are expensive, but holders cost a whole lot more than that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cooling through. Uh, every time we do a video, we always stress the importance of high pressure coolant and cooling through and um, keeping con uh, control over chips. Uh, the same exact style holder is available, but you can see with this one here, we've got uh, inlets for connections to multiple the coolant ports. Yep. So it uh, uh, gives you a lot of flexibility when you're installing in the machine, being that you've got so many different points of access for the coolant line, uh, makes it very versatile and easy to use uh, when plumbing it. And the jets are specifically designed to fire at a very critical point of contact. They're calibrated specifically to the insert length. So every oh. one of the blanks are specifically meant to fit that pocket and the, the coolant jet is aimed specifically to reach at that distance, that set point from the holder. One of the other things about the 1600 series tools that's important to remember is that one holder fits everything. All 1600 series inserts will fit in all 1600 series holders, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. So the, the pocket is the same across the whole system, mm -hmm. and the system includes uh, geometries for cutoff and front turn and uh, grooving and back turning and threading. And we even do full radius right off the shelf, which is a really nice kind of a special execution that a lot of places don't keep readily available, but we do that here at Gen Swiss. Um, but yeah, going back, moving down the line on some of these holders here, we do have um, some other specialty operations that you could potentially utilize the 1600 series for. And uh, again, talking about coolant through being important for chip control, sometimes you get some of those materials that even the coolant through part of it can't really get you where you need to be. You, you've, you don't have the reliability, the chip keeps wrapping up. So you end up with bird nesting you end up with and bird you, nest. you just don't have the control. And the goal is to keep that door shut as much as you possibly can on your Swiss machine. So uh, to tackle some of those really tricky ones, Utilities has actually come out with uh, what we call a Y-axis holder that uses the 1600 series tools. And any of the inserts fit this pocket, 
but the special thing about it is it actually positions it to the stock inverted. So now we've got coolant through the holder, but also gravity assist on pulling that chip away from the workpiece. Driving um, it straight down away. Driving it straight down and away, down into your, into your uh, uh, chip sump. Um, so, uh, and you could use this for just about any kind of operation. So if you have trouble with a major, like a front turning operation or a back turning operation, where you got to remove uh, significant amounts of material and you're getting chip wrap and uh, having trouble controlling it, this is an option for you. This might be another way to go. Get you out of the bird nest. Yep. Um, moving down the line, these, these other ones are some really interesting ones that are unique to the Utilities 1600 series line. There's actually uh, two inserts on the end of these. So. Exactly, yeah, there's two inserts. And uh, a lot of times you might have some older equipment, or a place you could utilize this, older equipment where you don't have too many turning positions and you need that extra position. Maybe you need that last groove or that last threading insert. So what this allows you to do is put a front turning insert on one side, mm -hmm. uh, and this utilizes my favorite insert out of the whole product series is the VPGT top wiper insert for front turning. That's one of my favorites. Great and surface finishing. on it. Yep, it, that's a, it's a really reliable and robust tool considering its size. And then it pairs it with the 1600 series tools. So you could put anything in this same holder along with it. You could do a groove from it. You could do a thread from it. Um, it gives you a, a whole lot more flexibility. You don't even have to run out of tools in your position, in your machine tool positions uh, to, to utilize this holder. You could potentially just use it to um, decrease how much distance you have to travel between tool changes, and that could save you some time on a really long production. That's a really interesting tool allowing you to combine the ISO specification with the tops and being able to jump into the 1600 series. So it's going to give you a very wide range of application. Absolutely. Yep. It's a very versatile tool. Uh, really, the only thing you got to be cognizant of is being that the pockets are relatively close together. It is limited in what diameters you can work with, uh, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, I think in this case here, it maxes out somewhere around, well, pretty much what the rest of the system is. I think it's around 10 millimeters or so in order to clear between the two inserts. Okay. And this is a fascinating version of that as well in that we have a a twin holder here where some people could actually take and put two of the exact same inserts in there. Let's say we are going to have a long run and you'd like to run a little lights out. So you could actually program insert A to run X number of pieces and rather than worry about a failing insert at that point you could have a program switch over to the second insert mm -hmm. and now you could run an additional full run on that and not worry about lights out manufacturing. Mm -hmm. yep. That's a very cool concept. Yeah, once you get the tool life dialed in and you know approximately where, how many parts you're gonna get before you would have to make an offset, for instance, just yep. make the machine switch over to second pocket and just keep on running. Um, the other thing you could do is obviously the obvious part of it, multiple uh, operations from one shank. So you could have this paired, in the case of it right now, there's a threader on there, a, a partial profile threading insert and a, uh, grooving insert with a chip breaker. So you just can combine a couple of different operations on one holder. Um, but that's, uh, that's another kind of more obvious way of using it. But, uh, and then obviously you can go down to machines that are less capable, something that maybe only has four stations and you need that fifth tool, you have that option again with this. That's a big advantage. And then uh, last but not least on the, the holders we got here as examples uh, is another kind of a standard holder but obviously for bigger machines. So this is a uh, five eight square shank. So this could go into some of your 32 millimeter machines where you maybe you have to make some very fine features on some bigger Swiss style work pieces. Um, you could utilize the 1600 series tools in the bigger equipment. Some cases you might still have to make something that's got a very uh, small cross section or yeah, a exactly. fine attribute. Fine attribute. So yeah. you could still utilize the entire system on your bigger equipment as well. And this particular one here just happens to be a coolant through. Um, so we've got a uh, kind of a standard M5 to JIC fitting bolted into here. But you can also thread in through the end. The end of the bigger shanks uh, open up the ability to use a uh, G18, which is uh, a parallel pipe, a 1 8 parallel pipe thread. And we've got fittings available right off the shelf for that. We've got a fantastic uh, plumbing program. All for, the plumbing. Yeah. Yep. yep. So keeping everything uh, connected is not going to be a problem. Beautiful line of product with a lot of versatility in that intermediate to smaller range. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, thanks, Bill. Thanks, Scott.